What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna see if I can turn this into this. Now, if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I love toast. Toast is one of my favorite snacks of all time. I've been eating it my entire life. In my opinion, there are few things better than taking a good loaf of bread, toasting it until it's lightly brown, smearing it with room temperature butter, and adding a little bit of salt on top. Oh, it's delicious. In fact, I love toast so much that for an entire month of my senior year of college, I ate toast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, to be fair, I was a poor college student and I was getting the bread for free, but it was still delicious. But last time I went to go make some toast, I opened the utensil drawer and realized that all of our butter knives were dirty. So I had all this toast and all this butter, but no butter knife. And that got me thinking, would it be possible to make a butter knife that could cut butter out of butter? If you're playing a drinking game where you drink every time I say butter, you're gonna lose. So that's what I'm gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna try to make a butter knife out of butter and see if I can use it to apply butter to toast. Now, I did a whole bunch of research on what might be the best way to make butter as hard as possible. And it turns out that since a lot of cheap butter have a high water content, freezing it will actually make it very hard. So I decided to buy some very cheap butter roll it out until it was very flat, about the thickness of a butter knife, carve it to look like a butter knife, and then freeze it. The result is something that kind of resembles a butter knife that's made entirely of butter. But now it's time for the real test. Will these butter butter knives be able to butter my unbuttered toast? Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. I have some freshly toasted bread and I have some pieces of butter that somewhat resemble butter knives. Let's see which one of these might do the trick. Okay, here we go. Toast, butter, butter knife, room temperature butter. This is the moment of truth. I'm nervous. Oh no, I can't tell if it's getting through or if it's, oh sh Oh no, it's falling apart. Okay, I managed to cut a little piece off. See if we could spread it. It's not, it's just completely falling apart. It's just, I'm just rubbing butter on here is all I'm doing. Dang, all right, all right, let me try another one. Let me try another one. All right, this one's a little thicker. Let's see if this holds up. Also, my room temperature butter isn't really room temperature. I shouldn't be able to pick it up like this. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get some more butter. That's like not room temperature. So this is, I, I don't, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Here's some like dirty ass butter that's been sitting out for a few days. So this, this is actually room temperature. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one. Let's see. It's kind of working. The problem is it just falls apart in your hand. It's like it's made of fat or something. But you can tell they're two different pieces of butter. Applying it. Oh, Jesus, just fell apart again. <laughs> Damn it! All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Butter, butter knife, room temperature butter. Come on. It's just rubbing off of it like it's butter. It's just falling apart in my hands. You know what? Let's take this. This is what I should have done to start. Here's my butter butter knives. Look at that, huh? Look at it work! Oh, it worked! Look at the way it applied the butter directly to the toast. <sighs> well, hey, not every video can be a success. Even my idol, I did a thing, fails sometimes. So I guess it's fair to say that no, I could not make a butter knife out of butter. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and share it with a friend. If you have an idea for how I could possibly make the butter harder and actually get it to work as a butter knife, leave it down in the comments below because maybe I'll make a follow-up to this. And if you wanna support the work I do in the videos I make, go to patreon.com slash mattshaver and sign up to become a patron. Your money goes to helping me buy things like butter and bread. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time.